we are allowing the user, the regular users of Power Apps, to update the choice fields. And it's technically, it's like a lookup, but we're doing the lookup in Power Apps. We're not creating a lookup column in SharePoint. Hey everyone, this is my SharePoint questions. And today I'm gonna to go over using lookups in Power Apps. And what I'm first thing I'm gonna say is don't use lookups in Power Apps. You can use the lookup formula, but what I'm talking about is a SharePoint column lookup. But what we're gonna to do today is we're gonna do all the lookup stuff in Power Apps. We're gonna give the power back to the user. That way, in your organization, you don't get someone that says, I need to change this choice column. I want to add a new choice to it. We're not gonna create any lookup columns. So right now I have three lists. So I have a projects list, and it has a few columns in here. And each of these columns are different statuses, and it has a clients column. Now if we go into my list, you'll see that each of these is a single line text. We're not creating any lookups. We also have a clients list, and so these are our clients. I just made up some things. Um, these are my clients. I have three different clients right now and each of these are single line text. And then we have our status options. So we have green, yellow, red, and a um, whatever you want to use for your organization you can use. Uh, but these are just my status options that I have available right now. So I have three SharePoint lists. All of them are using all single line text. So this is my Power App. On my Power App I have three different screen. So I have my project screen. This is where we're going to fill out the form. My choices screen. And so this shows the different clients right now. And my home screen. Pretty much I have just two buttons. Create a new project or edit the choice fields. So when we go to create a new project. I've already connected to everything I need to connect to. What we're going to do is we're going to create a new form, an edit form. And this form is, I've already connected to all my data sources. It's going to be to my projects list in SharePoint. And we're going to add all the fields to this project, all the custom fields that I created. So we have issue status, risk status, title, status, and clients. Make sure I got that one. I do. So I'm going to add all those fields to my form. Just going to rearrange them real quickly. All right, so each of these is a single line text, right? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do the status columns. Now these statuses is another list that I have. So I have if we go back to SharePoint and we go to our status options, we have green, yellow, red, and A. Now instead of creating a lookup field in SharePoint, what we're going to do is we're going to click on this form edit fields, we're going to go to cost status, and we're going to change it to allowed values, right? So this is going to change it to a drop down. And right now, there should be nothing in that drop down. We're going to change the items property to status options. That's the name of my list, status options dot title. So status options dot title is actually an array and we're gonna get a little red X here. It's just saying, hey, uh, I don't understand what you want me to update. In the update property, it doesn't understand dot value. We're just gonna change that to title because that's the column that we're updating to. So now if I update my button here, we just want this to say new form. Uh, this is, let's see, form five. So when I click in here and I do new form, now you can see we have different options in our cost status field. Now this is literally reading to SharePoint and um, we're going to be able to update this later. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the, re uh, the rest of the fields for the statuses. So we're actually using that um, SharePoint list to update our choices. So we're just going to, oh, before, now that's one thing you got to remember. Now before you unlock it, you cannot unlock it before you convert it into a choices field. So you, you want to unlock it after. So if you see that I have the status column, it's now custom. It's saying, hey, no, no. So what you do is you just remove it. I'm glad I made this mistake. And then you add it back. This is just, 
you know, some of the things that I've learned. And so now that the status is not unlocked, you can convert it to allowed values. Issue status, allowed values. Risk status, allowed values. So all of my status columns are now allowed values. And they're all going to be the same thing on the items property. So in the items property, we're going to now we can unlock it. We're going to change it to status.options title. And it's going to put that little red X there, but that's fine. We're going to fix that later. Now we'll fix each of these red X's instead of dot value. It's going to be dot title for each of these. Another thing that you may want to do is you may want to allow for a blank option. So if you click on this data card here, right? I'm on the cost status data card. And then you click on the data card value. Value. You'll notice in let's see where is it? Allow empty selection property. You can change that to true. So now if I were in here and I click on green again, it'll be blank. So if I have it on yellow, I click yellow again, it's blank. So it allows you to have a blank option. Um, I guess users may not know that you can double click on it and it will be blank, but you can do that. If I do it on one that does not have the allowed values or the allow empty selection, you'll notice that it does not allow the empty selection. So that's just, you know, a good thing for the user. All right, so now we have four columns that are using a lookup option. Technically, we're looking up in SharePoint, uh, but we're not using a lookup column. Now, let, let's go ahead and do clients. I, I got a couple tricks here. So we're going to go back to the form. And we're going to edit fields. And for clients, we're going to change it to allowed values, right? Now, we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to unlock it. And we're going to say this is equal to, I believe it's the clients.title. And once we do that, we have our different options here. We have our this place, that place, and once upon a time. And so if we go back to SharePoint clients, I have three options, right? I have this place, that place, once upon a time. So I have three options that I'm reading from. So now I want to show you how you give power back to the user, right? We don't want to update this every time and need a developer to come in here and update Power Apps or go in there and update the lookup. No, we want to give power back to the users of Power Apps so they can do all this themselves. You don't want them coming to you with a ticket or saying, you know, we need to update this choice field, we need to update this lookup column. No, we want the Power Apps users to do it themselves and not even have to enter into SharePoint. So what are we going to do? On our home page, now you can do this however you want. I just made this very simple. I have an edit choice fields option, right? And so I have a form here. Let's go ahead and delete it just to show you what it was like before. So I'm going to add a new form. It's going to be an edit form. And it's going to have the data source. It's going to have our clients. So this is our clients and I'm going to add the three fields, the title, state, and I believe it's address, address. All right, so I have three fields, the title, state, and address. And you notice my buttons broke here, but that's just because this is now form six. So we'll update this. So this is just new form six, and this button is just submit form six, right? We'll create a little bit more space in here for us. Now this is a gallery connected to my client data source. I added a button or actually an icon and it removes this item so we can remove from here. In our form for projects we only had three options right? Let's go ahead and add another so we can say another option right? And it can be I'm not sure what state and then you know again street so then we're going to submit form we have now added another option to our gallery if we go back and we go to create new project in our clients another option is there look at that we are allowing the user the regular users of power apps to update the choice fields 
and it's technically it's like a lookup but we're doing the lookup in power apps we're not creating a lookup column in SharePoint and creating all this you know difficulty everybody's like oh uh, I want to do this and I want to do that look the the key to all software development is keep it simple so we're just keeping it simple now we're giving power back to the user we can have you know them come in here add another say uh, oops let's just say they made an error right you can come back in here to projects there's now an oops option in here where they say oh I made an error oh let's just delete that option so now our SharePoint list is updated. If we go to SharePoint, we refresh. We can see our another option is there. Oops, is gone. We go back, create a new project. The choice fields only show the four that we want. So we're creating the lookup on the Power App side. We're only using single line text. We can submit this. We can create our submit button. So the submit button is going to submit form, form five. Now we have our options in here. This is our, our new um, project for here. We now have our options. You know, we could say another option, red, yellow, green. We could submit it. It's gonna write to SharePoint. We can check out our projects. We now have a new project for here. The clients is another option, red, green, red, yellow. You'll notice that these are not lookup columns. We're not using lookup columns. Literally, it's single line text all the way down. Single line text, single line text. We're just making it simplistic for us. And so that's my biggest tip to you. Keep it simple. Cut out all the lookup columns. Why are you using lookup columns? Um, you really gotta think about it. This is uh, making it simple for you. Thank you guys for watching. This is my SharePoint questions. If you like my ideas, please like, please subscribe. My channel's growing. I love it. Thank you guys. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments because I am answering them because I'm not as big as these other people. So I'm here. I'm answering your questions. Feel free to share with me. Thank you.